Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keda here and solar energy is a renewable source of energy that we are using in our day-to-day -day lives. So today we are going to take a look at the solar panels and how we can improve the efficiency of their energy output. So there are tons of ways that you can improve the efficiency of your solar cells like you can use the physical solar trackers that will move over your panels or you can make changes to your output uh, in your electrical system. Previously I have made two videos in which in one of them I have showed how you can improve your solar panel efficiency using super capacitor and in second video I use diodes to improve the efficiency. Well in this video I am going to use DC to DC buck regulator. Now this is LM2596 based. In this video I'm going to use this kind of regulator so let's see how we can get more current out of this solar panel so one advice before starting this video if you are taking your multimeters outside then as you can see if you expose your multimeters into sunlight your display will likely to go blackish so keep your multimeters out of the sunlight if it is possible so I'm going to measure the short circuit current of the solar panel and it is 291 milliamps. Okay friends, so I have connected this uh, regulator to solar panel and let's measure the current output. So as you can see now it is giving me 1 amps, 1 amps of current and let me just set the voltage on to this DC to DC converter so you can see the change. Now I'm increasing the voltage and the current is actually decreasing and as you can see it is the lowest possible so we are getting the full voltage output and we are still getting 700 milliamps 770 milliamps now if i reduce the voltage to its minimum which is 0.8 volts then we can get highest possible amount of current which is 1.360 milliamps so let me show you that now it should be 0.8 volts as you can see it is 0.8 volts and we are getting 1.3 amps I have set the output voltage of this converter to its maximum which is the input voltage as you can see 17 volts so let's measure the current output the short circuit current at this uh, voltage and it is 758 uh, 780 milliamps actually and as you can see I'm just shifting this probe to the input so now it is 290 milliamps so if you do not connect this uh, DC to DC converter then you will just lose 500 milliamps of currents so this time I'm going to charge this 2.7 volts 100 farad super capacitor directly from solar panels and it is only consuming 290 milliamps I'm going to charge this super capacitor with uh, uh, now this DC to DC converter we are getting 600 milliamps charging current to this capacitor so it will charge more fastly as you can see now I disconnect this uh, alligator leads because I noticed that these leads are also making some losses okay as you can see without this alligator leads we are getting our charging current literally 800 milliamps so 200 milliamps losses in this leads actually if we use this dc to dc converter we can get 800 milliamps with same voltage as we have seen earlier so when we connect any kind of load to our solar panel we have observed that we can only get the current of only one panel okay but if we connect any kind of DC to DC regulator buck regulator in between solar panel and our load then we can just tune to its maximum power point by just setting the maximum value of voltage and current that we can get from our solar panel the advantage that we can get is we can get more current so the more voltage and current concludes more amount of power that you can get from solar panels. So hope you like this 
method to increase the efficiency of the solar panels. Check out my other videos where I improve the solar panel efficiency using super capacitors and diodes. I have a whole playlist here so you can check it out and if you want to stay updated with my latest experiments then subscribe over here and as always thanks for watching peace goodbye